this is a uh, demonstration of the USQ campus directory work in progress, February 17, 2012. Um, we've mounted the screen on a temporary stand here in the office, so it's not the ideal height or the ideal tilt, so I'll try and do as best as I can. Excuse me if I have to sort of bend over a little bit to use it. Um, as you can see, this is the campus map, as you see it, and in idle. Using my finger, I can pan around the map, and also using a pinch zoom, I can focus in on different areas. Now, as I zoom into the map, you can see that the titles show up for the buildings. Um, we're a bit understated, I think we'll go back to just using the letters of the blocks where I learn the full titles because, as you can see, it gets rather messy as we zoom in. Uh, there is a limit to the zoom, you can only go to this area, this is kind of just this is uh, intentional to stop people from uh, playing around with it too much. Uh, so as you can see here, there's a legend bar on the campus map, so I can enable these edges, and they will show up on the campus map as well. Uh, we might want to make it uh, those pinpoints a little bit larger as you zoom out, because they're a bit hard to see at this point. Um, so you can see I selected a building there. Uh, these, these buildings are all random at the moment, so they're not uh, the proper buildings, but a lot of the models are right. Um, there's a few Tommy models in there, but... Uh, uh, you can see some of the most models are quite nicely done. Uh, that's a Tommy model. Uh, the weather shows up all the time, it's in the top left corner. Uh, it just shows the current temperature and a bit of a status indicator. If you click on that it shows you the status, it's cloudy today, um, 17 degrees, tomorrow 26, Sunday 26. Uh, we've tried to keep it quite simple. As you can see though, there's a lot of room for adding a little bit more detail. Um, these icons will change based on if it's sunny, rainy. Uh, whatever. If we click the AC operations menu, then we can see all the plant information. Uh, it gives you statuses of chillers, chill water pumps, entering temperatures and leaving temperatures. Now I realize we only have nine plants, but we added a few more just for demonstration to show that it is quite extensive and if more are added we can scroll through them like this. If we click the performance menu, now when we, it, it looks just like a campus map menu, except when we click on the building, we'll actually also get this pop up, uh, which will show you a little bit of a graph of water, power, gas. Um, and we can click on a particular one, and it will give us more detailed. So this week, last week, this month, and last month. And the last part is the room finder. So if you click on the room finder, an on-screen keyboard will pop up, and someone can type in the number, uh, press search. Now this functionality hasn't been completed yet, but what will come up is a list of suggested rooms in the campus, and you can click on one, and it will highlight a particular room. 